Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. It is five to five on Wednesday. I've pretty much spent the entire day doing day job stuff. I went out once to go check on packages and now I'm going out to do the shit that I forgot to do when I went out to get packages. In addition to the fact that I didn't realize that I'm riding on fumes. So I'm gonna stop and get gas first so I don't run out when I'm out driving around doing the shit that I forgot to do. It's been, I guess you can say a productive day. Uh, I've gotten a lot of response on the shit that I've sent out and people are getting back to me and I'm turning in deals, which is what my reason for existing for the next couple of weeks is. So that's a good thing. Otherwise, it was another nice day, low 70s, sunny, a shame I stayed inside. Still waiting for my lenses to come. They were supposed to come today. And then for some unknown reason, they didn't. And they're not going to be here tomorrow. So the one lens, the 16 to 80 f4 with weather sealing and optical stabilization is the one that I want and that I'm going to keep provided they didn't send me another shitty copy. And then the 18 to 55 is the one that they sent me that they didn't stop that I decided that I didn't want because I didn't realize it didn't have weather sealing. So once I get that, they already gave me return stuff. So I'll have to ship that back to them and that I can do tomorrow when it's raining. That'll be a good thing though, because I think that I tend to not go outside when it's raining, if I don't have to. And even then it's just to get from one place to the other to do stupid errands. But I think the whole point of me getting a weather sealed system like this is so that I can go out and shoot in the rain. That being said, since I got so much shit done and now I'm just waiting for people to get back to me, I think I'm gonna take some time tomorrow to go out probably in the rain and shoot and see how everything does. Now, I know I promised you something exciting today, but that's not going to happen because I didn't realize I was going to spend the entire day doing day job stuff. I decided to just come out here with my Insta360 RS rather than carrying my A7 IV, which I did do earlier today and then I ended up being on the phone the whole time and I never had a chance to shoot anything. So not that I have a chance now. I mean, I'm just going to Trader Joe's. So I don't know. We'll figure it all out together. But for now, I'm going to pump some gas. Well, there's a couple of things that are pretty glaringly apparent now. One, fall is here. It's pretty much going to be in the 60s. It's maybe going to creep up into the 70s for the, for the I would say, the next two weeks, because that's as far out as the weather app goes. And there is a couple of nights where it's actually going to get down to the 40s, which is pretty chilly for around here. So fall is here for that reason. Two... It's getting dark way the hell too early, which I cannot stand. I, I really hate the whole daylight savings thing, and I wish that they would just decide on one freaking thing and leave it that way. I know that there are people on both sides of, oh, the kids have to stand out in the you know the dark and all that kind of shit, whatever. They're either gonna stand out in the dark in the morning or they're gonna stand out in the dark in the afternoon. I was a latchkey kid. I guess that's what they called us. You know, I came home, my parents were at work. I had a key. I got in. I entertained myself until dinner, you know, shit like that. I walked to school. I didn't take a bus. I didn't get a ride. I walked to school. Most of most of my 12 years in, in school, the, like the school system, it kept me slim and trim and, and in better condition. Now, I mean, if I walk that much, I'd probably fall over and die. All of this leads me to this, in that, you know, I said I wouldn't harp on my weight and all that kind of stuff, but I had continued to, to gain weight up through, you know, being back up to where I was back in May, which was before I flipped out and, you know, I was considered myself a fat ass and, and I needed to lose weight and blah, 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 blah. So I'm sitting down now more, but that's only because it's this time of year for work and I have a lot of work to do and I'm, I have to be sitting at my computer. So that's what I've been doing a lot of lately. So on nice days like this, when I feel like I should be out playing, I'm sitting at my fucking computer and, and continuing to, to be a lazy chode and get fatter and more out of condition. Not, not a good excuse because I could get up and I could go down and jump rope for five minutes or go into my, you know, my little garage gym and, and lift some weights or crank out some pull-ups or something, you know? So I'm making excuses is what it gets down to. And it's only going to get more and more difficult as time moves forward because it's going to continue to get shittier and shittier out, which is going to mean I'm not going to want to be outside. It's another reason why I'm, I'm getting stoked about getting all this weather sealed camera stuff 
so that it, it I don't have that excuse either. Not that I did anyways. My Sony stuff was all pretty weather sealed because I bought top of the line everything. But this has been making me pretty excited to go out and shoot. So that's what I'm going to be doing. One of my favorite things to do, I have to go to Trader Joe's. I don't think I'm going to go over to Target. I got the couple of things that I needed the other day. Uh, so I'm good to go for now. But we definitely need to get some, just a couple of things. I'm not going to go in there and do a full on grocery shop especially since I don't have a list and I can't remember jack shit. So I'll go through and get the one thing that I'm sent here for, which is English muffins, and then I will impulse buy the rest, which will probably include today's dinner because I don't think we have anything. So let's go shopping. Okay, that was relatively painless, except for the fact that the whole reason I went there to get English muffins, they didn't freaking have them. I did get us dinner. I didn't do too much impulse buying because what am I going to get? So that was that. But an interesting interaction that I had with the girl that was checking me out was that I had this on, which I very often do. Now, I know I go against the norm where most people that do shit like this, they try to hide their microphone. They don't like it to be visible. Me, I don't give a shit about that. I would rather have it sticking on the outside of my shirt with my logo showing than to have it inside my shirt scratching and making all kinds of noise. I put a Devious Monkey sticker on all my microphones pretty much, and I wear them with the dead cat everywhere I go. So much so that I completely don't even think about it, or I forget that I even have it on. And everywhere I walk, I get strange stares. I'm still wondering why the hell people are looking at me without realizing it until somebody mentions it. And they're like, what is that? And then I tell them, well, you know, I have a shitty little vlog and, and it's a wireless microphone transmitter. And today, you know, she said, if you don't mind my asking, what is that? I said, oh, it's a wireless microphone transmitter. And she's like, for phone calls? I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I, I have a shitty little vlog and I'm always filming myself everywhere I go. So I have this on, but most of the times I forget that I have it on. But right now I'm not filming anything, you know, because they don't understand. And sometimes when I still have it on, the light's blinking and that really throws people off. And, you know, sometimes I think people think I'm like mystery shopper or something or I'm recording them on purpose and you know so i was quick to tell her no i you know the camera's in the car i just have this on and i forget about it um you know i don't like to record when i go into businesses because it kind of freaks people out so i just don't do that and she's like oh okay and then she asked me a little bit more you know so we had a conversation about it and i always again it always when i have that kind of interaction it makes me realize how much this is ingrained into my day-to-day that I'm pretty much walking around most of the day with this damn microphone on or, you know, my DJI microphone, whichever, depending on what camera I'm using, I basically have a wireless transmitter on most of the time until I'm done with my video at the end of the day and I'm posting it. So now tonight, all right, it's 530. She's not going to be home for like another hour and I'm going to go in and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to finish this video, this boring ass video that was nothing about other than me driving around. I mean, I didn't even get anything in the mail today. Again, that's not coming until tomorrow. When the lenses come tomorrow, then I will do a video showing you, you know, my new lens and showing you the full setup and all that kind of stuff. And I'll probably talk a little bit more about this X-T4. The more that I watch and read about it, the more I realize, I, I didn't realize that it was like a flagship camera for them. And that, that at the time it was a really good camera and it still is. And in fact, I was watching a video on the GSX 100s and that basically has the same sensor only bigger it's like their medium format and they're like you know it's the sensor out of the xt4 but just a little bit bigger it sort of makes me kind of kick myself for not uh getting interested in fuji stuff sooner so yeah if you're out there and you want to buy me a a, a gfx 100s they're only six grand of course then i have to have the lens and the 32 to 64 which is their sort of like kit lens for that camera I think that's another almost 3,000. It's at least, it's in the 2,000s. So, so for about eight or 9,000 bucks, yeah. If you wanna buy me that camera, maybe I should get my Patreon going. <laughs> okay, enough, that's a joke. I don't want anybody to buy me that camera. But that's it, that's all I've got for you. Sorry, I know I said it was gonna be an exciting video today. I just had no idea that I would literally be doing day job shit all day. So that's it, that's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.